also then be on the trial balance let's check and see if it is back on the trial balance there's the 20 we're out of balance by 20 we see net income went down by the 20. now we're going to record the other side the checking account that's of course our first account on the trial balance and also the first account on the general ledger We'll scroll down to that first account. We are in cell AN19 and 19 AN19. Selecting equals and pointing to that $20, bringing the balance down from 99.17 to 98.997. So this is going to be our new balance. We basically made an adjustment. And that 98.997 here. Also, we are in balance there. And that 98, scrolling back up, scrolling back up. That 98,997 then is our new balance that we have adjusted due to the bank reconciliation process. So if we go back to our bank reconciliation, we can see what we have there. We're going to scroll all the way back, keeping in mind that 98,997. Scrolling all the way back to the bank reconciliation, taking a scroll to the right, taking a scroll to the right till we find the bank reconciliation. Here's the January one. We want the February one. So we're all the way back over in cells or columns, EM through something like FB. And if we go back over just a little bit, we see that here was our adjustment. We started at this 99116, uh, which was right there. And then we made these two adjustments saying this is what we need to do to get to our ending balance of 98996. We have now done that. We've made those adjustments. We've decreased the checking account. So really, we're actually here now. This is our new uh, balance that is actually our balance. So note that this portion is now somewhat obsolete. It's no longer valid because our balance as of the end of the month is now this amount. It is the ending balance. And that means that the bank reconciliation as it is in something like QuickBooks is really just this half of it because we, we made the adjustments we need to make. Therefore, we have the bank balance here. We have the outstanding items are just going to be the outstanding checks and deposits and that will give us our adjusted balance and if we if we examine that uh, one more time the blue accounts remember are that beginning balance and then we tick and tied everything out so all of these i'm going to make these green i'm going to highlight these because we found a home for those make those green all of the items here the 14 and the 24 we marked off we tick and tied them out we said those are we found all those and therefore they're good and that means that if if that's the case if we found all those then the ending balance has to be uh, the same so we're saying here's the beginning balance and we're tying it out to these two items which are the beginning balance in blue these two items in green then has to end at the ending balance of the 99 uh, to 296 the only difference are those amounts on our books that we wrote in February that aren't on the bank statement. And of course, those we expect to clear in the next month. Those are the reconciling items. Those are the outstanding checks and outstanding deposits.